Hi everybody, this is Enoch. In this video, I take you to wonderful matcha food tour in Tokyo. Let's go! Japan has some sort of famous food such as ramen. And Japanese loves matcha, so do I, and in fact, we have unique matcha flavor food all over Japan. Matcha food is very flavorful, but it looks eccentric sometimes. Even Japanese people are surprised about food with matcha. It's so interesting that food collaboration with matcha. So in this video, I share 11 great matcha flavor food in Tokyo. I'm sure it's gonna blow your mind. Please stay tuned to the end. Okay, let's get started. Please subscribe my channel. Number 1. Matcha ramen. Speaking of Japanese food, it's ramen and we have of course much flavor ramen. We can enjoy much flavor ramen with chicken based soup called Tori Paitan ramen. Let me briefly share toppings in the ramen first. This is not pork chashu in common. This is wagyu roast beef chashu. It's so tender but it's really meaty. Other toppings are shallot gully onion, deep fried buttock. This is unusual topping, it's so crispy. Green vegetables. I guess this is spinach mustard. Bamboo shape. This is chewy and crunchy. Something creamy bubble. Soup is very, very, very creamy and it has rich taste of matcha, but it doesn't taste too strong matcha compared to its roke. It slightly tastes and smooth matcha. It tastes rich and thick chicken soup more than matcha. Noodles are medium thin street noodles. It's so chewy and popping texture is really good. Texture is close to soba noodles, but these are harder and chewier. Noodles taste a little bit uncommon, but noodles taste pretty good. In conclusion, this ramen is really interesting to enjoy much taste ramen, but I think once is enough for me. I thought it would taste too rich of matcha, but it doesn't really, so I can't recommend ramen to much lovers, neither Toripanitan ramen lover. I feel like much ramen is half bad. We can have much ramen at Mencho San Francisco in Shinjuku. Anyway, we can have much better ramen here. Try much ramen or other flavor ramen, whatever you want. Number 2. Ochazuke Ochazuke is one of the most famous and casual rice dish in Japan. We usually have rice with some ingredients in the rice bowl. And seafood is really popular toppings for ochazuke. We normally pour soup stock or Japanese tea to rice, but this time we got boiled much tea. Toppings for ochazuke for this time are salmon caviar, low fresh salmon sashimi, chopped dried seaweed, tororo kombu, dried kelp shaving, leafy grains, sour chopped seaweed, rice with colorful tempura bits. We can have it as kaisen too. It looks very nice and it's actually very tasty. Salmon and salmon caviar are very fresh. However, traditional way to have ochazuke is pouring boiled water into the rice bowl. It's getting changed a lot. Don't get shocked. The dish name is ochazuke and it means ocha is green tea, matcha, and zuke is soaked in liquid. So that ochazuke is rice is in boiled but tea. Now rice dish is completely different and uncommon. It's totally green. It's so fragrant of matcha. Matcha tea is very watery but it tastes and smells very good. If you love matcha, this will be the great dish. To have rice with matcha tea and fresh salmon are wonderful. We could likely have it all. If we want something light, this is great. We can also have very specialized Japanese tea and a dessert too. It looks good as well. We can have matcha ochazuke at Fujimeien in Shibuya. When you visit around here, try ochazuke if you like. Number 3. Soba noodles. Soba is our national noodles and soba with matcha is also great. This is a meal that I'd like to share for today. It's called Shimizu Soba Meal. Soba and Japanese sweet kobo. Japanese normally has soba noodles with chopped green onion and wasabi and special dipping set. This is cold and soy sauce based set. And this time, matcha soba noodles. It looks great. It already smells brilliant on matcha. Soba is blended with matcha, so noodles are beautifully colored as green. We dip soba noodles into special dipping soup and have soba noodles. Dipping soup is usually from soy sauce based bonit pork. This is much soba, so I recommend to dip only a little bit to enjoy much sand more. To enjoy a lot more, putting green onion and wasabi into soup would be good. Those make fresher and more fragrant. This is a common way to having soba noodles in Japan. If you don't prefer to put in this, just leave them, we'll be fine. 
This one is really good, more than I expected. It smells and tastes much so much. This is really good, much food for much lovers. I'll share one more food from this meal. This is Shiratama and Waramuchi. It's Japanese famous dessert. Very thick matcha sauce comes with the dessert. It smells very sweet matcha. Let me share the detail of the dessert. This is matcha flavored shiratama and normal plain shiratama. Shiratama is very chewy. Anko, red bean paste is also in the bowl. It has gentle sweetness. This is matcha flavored wadamuchi. It's slimy, gooey, and flavorful. We usually put sauce to the dessert. This time, we've got much sauce, so the dish is all about green, green, and green. Welcome to the paradise of much work. It tastes full flavor or matcha. It absolutely makes you happy. We can buy matcha for souvenir. This is great. I want the differences between them. We can have matcha soba noodles and matcha dessert at Tsujiri in Tokyo Station. Number 4. Matcha Clap. I'll share desserts from now on. This is matcha crepe. Matcha greatly matches with desserts more than Japanese dishes. Matcha powder is slightly bitter, but its bitterness gives wonderful contrast with sweetness. Matcha is good at cream cheese and also flesh cream. Sun is very fragrant and creamy cheese and milky cream with matcha taste excellent. We can have matcha crepe at Kotobuki Seiyan in Asakusa. Number 5. French Toast. Have you ever had matcha French Toast? It's so matcha! It's called matcha lava French toast. Sliced bread is piled up and middle part is hollowed out and something filled in. Matcha powder is sprinkled all over the toast. Let's see and cut it. Wow! Matcha juice runs out! Matcha juice seems like nut milk. I guess much flavored cream cheese. It smells and tastes matcha so much. It's so fragrant. It tastes slightly bitter, but this is good. If you are crazy about matcha, you can't stop having this French toast. Matcha powder is really powdery, so it's better to mix up with lava, otherwise it makes you choke on. Gyuhi, it's kind of soft mochi. It's sandwiched between the bread, so it's really chewy. It tastes milky, creamy, and so much of matcha. We can have it at Kotobuki Seiyan in Kanda. Number 6. Pancake. Combination between matcha and pancake are marvelous. This is Japan menu our rewarded pancake. Extra fine matcha, which is from 100 years historical matcha store, is used for pancake too and custard cream. And the egg from Kanda farm will fetch too much pancake and it makes pancake even better. The pancake is very, very, very fluffy. It's over so much. Some baked pancake is piled up and melty flesh cream covers on top. Matcha is blended in pancake too, so pancake is colored as matcha color, beautiful light green. It doesn't taste too rich matcha, but it tastes quite strong matcha. Pancake smells very good of roasty matcha. Flesh cream and matcha make great taste. This is really tasty. Much custard sauce is hidden between pancake. It tastes really rich of matcha. Sweetness and bitterness are wonderful collaboration of all. Matcha sauce is really gooey. The balance of custard and matcha are fantastic. This is absolutely magical. Speaking of Japanese sweets, it's red bean paste. Red bean paste sauce is a mandatory item for Japanese dessert, especially for matcha. It's very much so much. Red bean paste is called anko. Anko is usually very thick and gooey, but this sauce is pretty only, so I guess it's arranged for much pancake. I love anko with matcha. Matcha ice cream also comes with pancake. Matcha plus matcha make even better match taste. In conclusion, this pancake is really good. I can strongly recommend this. It costs pretty much, but it's worth to have for me. We can have much pancake at 512 Grid and Cafe in Ropogi. Come and enjoy brilliant pancake! Number 7. Matcha Parfait Matcha fits European style dessert as well. We can also have matcha latte at this shop. Coffee latte is nice and bitter. Matcha latte is also nicely sweet and bitter. As you can see, color is really beautiful. It's light green. This is matcha color. It tastes slightly sweet and rich matcha. 
This drink is amazing. It's not bitter at all, but it's really matcha. It's the great beverage for cooling down in the summer. And I'll share much chocolate parfait next. Parfait is now a very famous dessert in Japan. Strawberry or chocolate parfait is really popular flavor, but we can have much parfait as well. Much chocolate, much ice cream, much sauce, and lipping paste are on the parfait. Much chocolate tastes really rich on matcha. It's a blob on matcha. Matcha ice cream is creamy and it tastes mild matcha. Red bean paste is a great partner of matcha. Cereals are a symbol of parfait. It's the most famous topping for any parfait. There's something like slime in the middle of the parfait. It's matcha jelly. It also tastes really rich on matcha. From the top to the bottom, start till the end. Everything is matcha. Once you have it, you get into it. It costs pretty reasonable, but it tastes awesome. This is one of my favorite matcha desserts. You must try it. We can have this wonderful matcha parfait at Nana's Green Tea in Kinshio. Number 8. Matcha Mont Blanc. It's not only for chestnuts. Matcha is very good. Once we order matcha Mont Blanc, our shop staff makes it just in front of us. This is very new and so interesting. I can already smell great sound of matcha and chestnuts. Movement of making matcha Mont Blanc is very smooth. It's so skillful. Lastly, the shop starts shapes and sprinkles chestnut and beautifully decorates the matcha Mont Blanc. This is freshly strong matcha Mont Blanc. Matcha and chestnut paste is drizzled on a cake. It's nearly beautiful dark green matcha color. Matcha strings are very soft and fragrant. It smells pretty strong of matcha and tastes rich of matcha, but also it is so rich of chestnut. A whole chestnut is topped on the cake. This is really flavorful. Bottom cake is sponge and flesh cream. It's soft and it has gentle sweetness. Baked meringue is at the bottom. This is very crunchy. Combination between soft and crispy texture are great. As a result, this is very good, I think. I can strongly recommend this. I guess this is the best match Mont Blanc I've ever had. I'm sure you love it too. We can have it at Salio Susan in Shibuya. Don't you want one? Number 9. Japanese style mass potter. It's plated in wooden square pot called masu. Match powder makes shape of kawasansi, which is Japanese garden art. We can easily crack top layer. It's kind of feeling bad to crack it all, but it's the only way to have it. And much clean comes out from inside. It smells very fine matcha. Strawberry nicely decorates puppet. Red and green contrast looks even better. The top layer is actually very thin white chocolate. Chocolate and matcha are well fed. Inside of the puppet is like a treasure box. I found matcha ice cream and flesh cream. A chestnut. Matcha jelly. Shiratama. Rice some and chocolate brownie. Every single topping is very good with taste of matcha. This is Japanese style buffet. We can have this buffet at Salon Ginzabo in Ginza. It's very calm and relaxed place. Enjoy your own time with matcha. So this is the end of the video. I shared 11 brilliant matcha dishes in Tokyo. Which one do you like the most? I think we can have lots of more matcha food in Japan. If you have any good ones, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope this video helps your much life in Japan. I hope you enjoyed my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all for today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!